Welcome to the video series where I tell my favorite YouTubers what they should do in London based on the limited personal information that they put in their videos, but I still feel like I really, really know them. Maybe I'll use that as the series title? Too long? The idea is that maybe the YouTuber will use this itinerary, but to also give all of you watching inspiration for your own trips of what to do and what to see and what to eat and what to drink. In this video, I'm going to be creating a mini itinerary for Elena Tabor. She is a travel and New York City YouTuber who started on YouTube sharing videos of her solo travels around Europe and other parts of the world. But obviously for the last year or so, because of everything happening. She's been staying in New York, but she's been sharing some really interesting stuff about her life in New York. So what type of traveler is Elena? Affordable. So we can tell from her past vlogs that Elena would rather spend less on things like flights and travel and accommodation and more on experiences and also just being able to prolong a trip. So we see her often in hostels and just like affordable types of accommodation. True local. She loves exploring underrated neighborhoods and learning about their history and also joining forces with locals in these places she goes to get the more I live here perspective. She also loves supporting small businesses. Solo. As mentioned, Elena likes to travel solo, so I will be keeping that in mind. Nature and city. She is, of course, a city girl at heart, but also loves to appreciate nature and outdoor things when she's traveling. This past summer, she actually did a van life road trip along the California coast and she got all the nature in. Now, Elena has been to London before. She only showed a little bit of what she did in her vlog in London. So I'm kind of considering this as like a clean slate for her. So what time of year should Elena visit? I would recommend the spring or the fall because she'll be able to benefit from relatively cheaper pricing for accommodation and less crowds. Plus she should hopefully be able to still have some mild weather. Where should Elena stay? I thought about picking out a hostel for her, but I think we can do a little bit better. I would recommend she stay in the Cubic Hotel in Whitechapel, where as I played around with some dates in May, she would be able to get a room for an average of about 85 pounds a night, or that's like $116 a night. Probably a little bit more than she's used to spending, but that comes with her own room, her own ensuite bathroom, including toiletries, a king size bed, a laptop size safe, which is important for YouTubers. Plus, Elena is trying to be more sustainable and Cubic is actually one of the most sustainable hotels in London, if not the most sustainable. They have a bunch of initiatives that are helping them to be a bit more green. Like a lot of their energy comes from the solar panels on the top of their hotel. And for any guests that opt out of of cleaning for that day of their room gets a free drink at the bar that evening. Now, if that ends up being out of Elena's budget, because I know it's tricky with being a solo traveler, then the hostel that I would recommend her to stay in is Wombats. It's probably the highest rated hostel in the city. Okay, let's talk about things for Elena to do. In terms of a tour, I would recommend that she head to Brixton, an underrated neighborhood in London, and that she do the tour called Discover London's Black Cultural History Tour, which is run by an independent tour guide named Obi. In this tour, she'll obviously learn about the history of this very interesting area. She'll get to explore bits like Brixton Village. She'll get to learn about Brixtonians. Brixtonians. She'll get to learn about past famous Brixtonians, and there's even an authentic Caribbean lunch included. And at 25 pounds per person, with lunch included, that's a very good deal. Now, Elena is a fashion lover, so in terms of museums, I think she'd love the Fashion and Textile Museum in Bermondsey. This museum is quite unique, where the whole museum is just one exhibition that is only on for like two or three months, and then they shut down for two weeks, they redo everything, and they have a brand new exhibition after that. So you can always keep going back and 
seeing new things. This museum is featured in my underrated museums to visit in London video, so have a watch of that after this video if you want to find out about more museums to go visit. I can tell by Elena's travel videos that she does love a good European market. So I have two I would recommend. The first is Victoria Park Market, which happens on Sundays in Victoria Park. And this is pretty much all food, but there's a nice mix of hot full meals that you can get and also vendors selling produce and cheese. Oh, there's this vegan cheese vendor there. Oh, so good. Such good stuff. And some other vendors sell like various different bits and bobs. I'd also recommend her to go to Broadway Market in London Fields, which happens only on Saturdays. This market has a lot more non-food things, but there's tons of vendors selling like a lot of really nice stuff. I think particularly she'd like the sellers of vintage, as well as the couple of stalls that are put on by jewelry designers, because she usually likes to get a new ring every time she goes to a new place. Both of these markets I've covered quite extensively in other videos. So I will put links to those videos in the description box if you are also a market lover. Who's not a market lover really? For an outdoor activity, I'd recommend visiting Victoria Park. And she can obviously pair this with her visit to Victoria Park Market on a Sunday. This park has been voted by Londoners as the best park in London for many, many years. And it is really the heartbeat of the area for the locals. People will come here to go cycling, to walk their dogs, to have picnics, to get coffee at the famous Pavilion Cafe. There's loads of stuff that you can do here and to, there's so much to explore. And in terms of shopping, Eleanor loves vintage shopping and I know she actually did some vintage shopping when she was in London last time but there are two shops I want to point out in particular that I think she should make a beeline to. They're both in shortage by the way. One is called Attica. It is apparently the biggest vintage store in Europe because it's got a couple floors to it but they have a really good curated selection of stuff and I think the style goes along with her style. And there's Beyond Retro which has a bigger selection still pretty curated but I love that they also also create their own clothing out of materials that would have gone to waste. So I have a couple of skirts that they've made out of fabric that would have went to waste and they have an amazing leather jacket line that has upcycled leather materials. It's like so good. My favorite part, the food and drink recommendations. In terms of sit down restaurants, I think Elena would really like this place called My Neighbors the Dumplings in Victoria Park Village. It's a family run Chinese dumpling house and sake bar. They of course specialize in handmade dumplings, which they actually make at the front of the shop in the window. So during the day before they open, you can see them making the dumplings. They've got really good food. They've got great cocktails. They're very vegetarian friendly. And here's a picture of me with a really cute puppy there. I think Elena would also love to do Sunday roast. Sunday roast is this English tradition of this meal that you have on Sundays. Londoners love doing it. You go to a pub to have it. I have a video that explains it more that you can find out more about that. But during her Sunday of exploring Victoria Park, she can wrap that day up by heading to one of my favorite pubs, the Hemingway, which is within walking distance of Victoria Park. And she can have a lovely Sunday roast there. It's delicious. Finally, I think Elena would like budget friendly, but still delicious Arepa & Co. They've got two locations. One is in Hagerston and one is in Bethnal Green and they serve Venezuelan food that is so yummy. And the great thing is they've got a great lunch deal on weekdays. I think it's seven pounds for a main, a side of yuca fries and some of their fresh lemonade. Now, I personally think the cachapas are the best thing that they serve, but order whatever you want, it's gonna be good. Then for places that Elena could go to for a drink, even if she's on her own, here are some suggestions. So I think Elena would really like the area that's called Hackney Wick, and there's one area within this area where there's a bunch of bars that you can get to really easily. And it's just, it's really cool because it's right next to Olympic Park and it's on the River Lee. She could start having a drink at Barge East, which is a barge boat that they've parked up and have turned into a restaurant. And then they also have a casual but cute little patio where you can go and just have drinks there. I love going here. It's like such a cute little spot. Then she can cross the river and make her way to Crate Brewery, which is obviously a brewery, but it's really popular with locals in the area when it's like drinking time. 
and they have a bunch of communal tables outside right on the river. So it would be a really good way to potentially strike up a conversation with some Londoners and to make some friends. And I know Elena likes live music. So she goes a little bit down the river. She can go to Grow, which is a social enterprise and creative space where you can eat and you can drink. And they usually have some kind of live music on or somebody else doing something creative that you can watch while you're drinking and eating. Finally, there's a really fun bar called Four Quarters that has all these retro games that you can play while you are drinking. This place is so retro that even their website is still on GeoCities. Did anyone else have a GeoCities website? I had one that was like 97. Yeah, I had one. But the way that this bar is set up because it's like an activity and it's a social activity, again, it would be a great way for a solo traveler like Elena to be able to meet some other people to hang out with. If you're chatting with Elena on any of the socials anytime soon, let her know that I made this itinerary for her. I hope she finds it helpful. And if you have any YouTubers that you'd like to see me create itineraries for, ones that do not already live in London, let me know in the comments. And for more videos like this, then watch the box that's pip that, ugh, watch the box that's popping up right below me.